It feels like I've been playing a long time, but at the same time, it feels like it goes fast. So it's, um, you know, it's it's obviously it's an accomplishment. Um, you see a lot of guys run through it. It's it's been uh, a lot of fun. There's been a lot of a lot of amazing people for me along the way, and um, you know, I'm excited to kind of get it over with. Though, I guess um, I guess Eric. I think just because he's in. You're, I mean, you're in each other's faces a little bit more off the draws, and um, you know he's kind of the same position, so you you, you want to outplay the guy, and so it, it makes it for uh, um, a more of a battle. And obviously, he's he's very good at what he does at, at center, so um, so it makes my standard uh, try to push my standard uh, to another level. So um, probably Eric, but Mark can be really annoying as well, and um, obviously a very good defenseman. So he he, uh, he made it hard on me uh, over the years, and we've played a lot of hockey against each other. But he was he was more or less playing against the top lines, so um, I didn't see him too much. He, uh, you know, in Pittsburgh, and a little more in Carolina. But um, you know, it's it's been fun over the years playing against those guys. I think it started with uh, Colby Armstrong. I think it came out with him my first year, and you know. I could see why. I mean, coming in as an 18-year-old at, at 220 pounds uh, is, is kind of unusual. So, um, you know, the guys kind of jumped on that pretty early and pretty quick. Um, you know, I think that one, I don't know if it stuck very long, but I know uh, I know Army uh, definitely uh, wrote it as long as he could. It's actually been pretty amazing. That I've had it pretty much my whole career since I've been a kid, and, and nothing's really, um, you know, obviously with guys with tenure and, and, and years, um, you know, wearing the same number and like that, but I've been fortunate enough to have it. I think the original thought, I mean, I've, like I said, I've had it since I've been five, six years old, so I don't even know if I had a decision then, but uh, I know my dad uh, always wore 12, and uh, I know Eric wore 12, so maybe I, I went with the next closest number is, is my guess is, uh, is how I stuck with 11. Uh, that was a, it was a weird day, uh, a lot of emotion. Um, I remember talking to my wife, or well, then fiance, before the wedding, um, saying, you know, you figure out this one day and I'll try to figure out the rest of our lives here. And um, I, knew, I knew something might be happening and, um, you know, working with, uh, or talking, talking a little bit with uh, my brother and, um, you know, and trying to decide our future and, you know, it just so happened that it obviously happened in the middle of our entree. But, um, you know, it was it was an interesting night. It actually turned out to be uh, even better than I thought, um, you know, being able to hang out with those guys after, um, you know, a, a trade in the summer. Usually you don't see me get a couple of texts and a couple of calls, but being able to be there and, and, and having, uh, you know, a great night, um, you know, together and, and having a few drinks and, uh, and obviously reminiscing a little bit and, and, and talking about the future of, you know, being able to hang out with those guys that actually turned out to be better than, uh, and all their significant others as well, turned to be a lot better than uh, I think just being alone, uh, you know, in that summer uh, trade. I would say um, experiencing experiencing stuff all over again, I, I think is, is a really cool thing. Um, you know, when they, you know, see a firefly to a shooting star to a, I mean, a bus driving by that they've never seen before. Like all these things that they're they're experiencing for the first time, you get to do it with them, and um, you know that's always a fun thing. And obviously, just teaching them, you know, your your values and 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 how you carry yourself day to day, and 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 knowing that they're watching you every day and and learning from you is um, is something I take pride in. And um, you know, my kids have been an absolute amazing joy to be around and so much fun and my wife's done so much work when i've been gone and um you know it's been uh it's been an absolute blessing and uh, i love being a dad i guess the best thing is is um you know you know just being able to have that honor and, and knowing that um you know the coaching staff and the organization trust you to be that guy and it is a great honor and you know there's only so many captains throughout NHL history and, um, you know, being able to put that on and, and be a leader and, and expect expectations to be a leader is, um, you know, it's just a great honor and, um, and it's challenging. Like you said, like you said, it's, you got to bring your own work ethic and, and your day-to-day -day stuff. And, and, and it's not just about you when you have that C, it's about trying to make sure that everyone's being pushed and, and everyone's is, is taken care of. And you, you kind of have an eye on, on, on all the guys and, so you're, you're you're trying to make sure that everyone's everyone's good. It's a fun thing when you get older to realize how a team ticks and and 
and trying to get the best out of everybody. And um, it's challenging. And some days I'm not very good at it. And some days I'm very good at it. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's been, it's been a really cool ride. And, um, you know, I've been very blessed and you know, very happy to be a part of uh, the leadership group here. I can't remember the last time I've looked at it. I'm not not a big guy in, into that stuff, but um, you know, I think it's in my parents' house, to be honest. I'm not quite sure where it might be, but um, obviously the memories is what uh, I take out of that stuff. And um, there's no better, no greater memories and, and no better feeling uh, to accomplish your lifelong dream with, with guys you love battling with and the guys that you love playing with and having that same feeling here and building towards that and, and and hopefully making a push here is what we want and you know we got guys in this room that I love playing with and I love battling with and and that makes it fun and that, and that makes it uh, that much more worthwhile if you get to the end. You know we were talking for for almost too long about trying to get something together and we finally pulled the trigger and um, you know it was uh, um, you know, it was, it was and his sister Tamara and, and, and um, what she went through and, um, and and eventually passed away. That kind of uh, sparked our, our family to kind of um, get involved with that and, and uh, with kids with cancer. And, um, and especially in Thunder Bay, it's been uh, kind of uh, overlooked a little bit, I think. And there's a there's a big niche there to, for us. And, you know, we were excited about being uh, and doing that. And, um, you know, it kind of grew into a, a cool little golf tournament that we, uh, um, you know, took started in Thunder Bay, and um, you know, we raised a lot of money, and um, we, we've done a lot of good stuff with uh, um, the chair, different charities here in Thunder Bay, and um, you know, it's just really cool, obviously, to, to give back and, and to Thunder Bay um, in general is 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 will always be our, our family's hometown, and we always want to be a part of. Uh, community there as best we can and, and that was one way of doing it uh, i'm a sweets guy for sure um you know i think uh just a good old-fashioned chocolate chip cookie is, is my go-to um or just chocolate in general i think is my uh my sin food um but uh i like uh, sweets of all nature for sure i think our strength is our competitiveness i think we've got a lot of guys in this room that understand that it's a long season but you know if you bring that competitiveness every night um, you're going to have a good chance to win. And, you know, obviously Roddy's the number one guy for that. And, and he's, he's brought that on and he's brought that culture in for that. But we've got guys in the room that, that know how to do that. And, you know, some nights it's ugly, but some nights it's that competitiveness that kind of pushes us over the top and gets us that extra little shot or extra little chance to, to, to end the game. And I think that's our, our strength.